What's up, Paul Power Asker? Today's video, we're showing you how to pull knuckles out of a WJ. You want those big brakes? Let me show you how to get them out. Another junkyard run. All right, folks, we're going to start pulling the knuckles off this WJ because I want that big brake kit. We got lucky because down here on the ground, somebody's already done one side for us. But this is going to be a fast four minute style video because we are on limited time because they're closing in just a little bit. Knuckle, calipers, a. Hey. Whoever did it, appreciate it. Off the other side. Okay, how to pull WJ Knuckles. Somebody's already pulled the brakes off, which the, those bolts are right here and right there, which gets the caliper off. And first thing, next thing we gotta do is this right here. Oh, oh where's that bolt there? And but right here, trying to get you in there so I Right there, and right there. Get those two bolts out, which gets this off, and then you're able to pull the rotor off. Somebody's gonna ask, that's a 18 millimeter, and what you do, you just pull that thing right off there. Now, get a rotor out of the way, it's stuck, so we're gonna get a hammer and beat the out of it. They just said, we're closing in one hour. Okay, you see the Got beat it off, but we'll be back. Okay, so this thing's totally seized up on that unit bearing, which I don't need the rotor. I don't need the bearing, so it's not a big deal. Back here is where you pull the bearing loose. 13 millimeter, 12 point. You got one there, one right there, and one on the back side. We right there. 13 millimeter, 12 point. Pull them out of there. Hey, those bolts are stuck in there good, but I'm okay. Got those three bolts out of there. Then once you do that, you want to get it behind here with a pry bar, split that unit bearing loose from the spindle or from the knuckle, whatever you want to call it. Then you pull the unit bearing on off. If you want to pull the axle on out too, because you don't need it either. Just get it out of your way so you can get to your bolts for your ball joints. Ta-da! Now, ball joint nut there and there. We gotta get them things out. And should be able to knock it knuckle off if all goes right. But she's been in a fight so far. So here's the situation. Look, it's same as off. But the bottom ball joint, we're trying to grip this thing right here to keep from it turning because the whole ball joint shaft up inside there is turning. We're out of time because they're closing. So we're going to come back tomorrow, bring my battery powered sawzall, and we're just going to slice the bottom of that ball joint off and call it done. So to be continued. And when you get tired of fooling with it, just get the saws off, cut it off. Ta-da. So I'm in here fixing to pull me some WJ Knuckles for the brake upgrade and stuff for Rust Bucket. And we came across this. I mean, I don't have words for this. I really don't. Steve Wonder welded, Wonder welded this. <laughs> I mean, look at this. I mean, they hung the spare tire here. Oh, look at that. At least they're doing it in class. They got their little wine glass. Got a 5.0, man. I mean... All right, fans, if you guys got any idea, this is obviously some kind of kit that goes on this. If you guys have any idea what this is, hit me up down in the comments. And Not that I want it, Lord have mercy, no. But curiosity, hey, I can't help it, but. Just want to know why. <laughs> Just want to know why. <laughs> right. He's got rear air back there. Check it out. We got rear heat and air. Wow, this is nuts. We'll start out life as a 1988 Lincoln Town car. Yeah, it did. 
Yep. Oh gosh, this stinks up in this thing. Good oh, Lord. <laughs> they cut this off back there, and they put that extension in it, and welded it back on up here. That's nuts. I guess you could consider that well. I don't know. I wouldn't. Okay, so we got this right here, the joint here, angled over there to get up to the steering box. Sectioned that for some what, who knows what reason. I'm assuming again, spare tire on this side, who knows what. Braces right there that goes down, kicks underneath here. I'm assuming this is where the front part of the body kit bolted onto. It didn't have the voltage regulator didn't have the right place to put it anywhere. All that with the 302. That poor 302 is dying, pulling all that weight. All right, people. Y'all got any clue what kind of body kit that's supposed to be? Hit me up in the comments, cause I want to know why. And I'm just, I'm, I'm a loss for words for the first time ever in cars. I'm at a loss for words. Don't know what to think. So let's pull those WJ knuckles out. Obviously, that means there's another video coming up on how to swap your YJ over to WJ knuckles with a big brake setup. Now, when am I gonna do this? I really have no idea. Uh, that build, those WJs are going on rust bucket. And right now, I'm still working on my 91, finishing up 8.8 swap. I'm, fixed, uh, I'm actually fixing to do my soft lines and uh, hard lines here in just a moment. So, whenever I get on that WJ knuckle, just be sure to hit that thumbs up for any of my videos. But if you guys subscribe, hit that uh, notification bell so you don't miss the video. Cool? So everyone, if you enjoyed this video, hit me with a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave some cool comments down below. Peace out. Later, y'all.